Welcome, shipmates. Today is Wednesday, April 24th. I'm Joey McJilton, and I am also Joey McJilton. As you know, we are in the week of two, we are on week two of testing. Today, Wednesday, the schedule will be one, three, three, four, five, six, six. The double periods are two hours long, so class times are slightly different from normal. Do you need information about the college admissions process and how to make your college application stand out? A member of the admissions team from the University of Maryland College Park will share information on Thursday, May 16th in our cafeteria from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Hear firsthand information about the college admissions, proce admissions process. <laughs> Today is Secretary and Administrative Assistance Day. We would like to thank those special people for keeping us all straight. We hope you know that you are very appreciated today and every single day. The following scholarships are due in guidance tomorrow, WCEA Future Educators, and on Friday, April 26th, Davis Bowen and Friedel Inc., Delegate Carl Anderton, and Ocean's Garden. See guidance with any questions. Want to see the world? JMB is traveling in the summer of 2021. We are traveling to France, Germany, and the Alps. There will also be an interest meeting on Tuesday, April 30th at 6.30 p.m. in the JMB Library. Letters of info will be distributed soon. Are you interested in the Youth Civics Council? Ms. Mr. Jerem Mitchell, Jerem Michael Mitchell will be on campus today from 1035 to 1155. He will have a table set up outside the cafeteria to meet with students and pass out flyers. Stop by and get more information. The Salisbury Lions and JMB Leo Club has been working hard all year. During our last professional day off from, these, from school, these students got up early, met at 7.30, and built a ramp for a wonderful gentleman. We are very proud of the Leos and their hard work. So far this year, they have worked over 1,500 hours of service. Take a look at how amazing this club is. Imagine having to do this every time you want to leave the house. Well, this is what Salisbury's Bill McCrory has had to endure for the last eight years because of what multiple sclerosis has done to his legs. But Mr. McCrory is not bitter or ashamed about crawling to his car. For 35 years, Bill McCrory taught adult education in Wacomico County. He's helped so many people earn their GED high school diploma. You're wonderful just to think back and, and remember some of them just makes me feel good that I've done something good for people. Well, now McCrory himself is about to get some help. <laughs> Members of the Chesapeake Housing Mission along with students from the James and Bennett High School Leo Club brave some cool temperatures and the rain and began constructing that ramp for Mr. McCrory. I'm looking forward to this ramp that I can finally get up off the floor or and the crawling out the, the back door to my car and just ride this chair down <laughs> and get in. I'm just so excited about it. In Salisbury, Paul Butler, Wicomico County Public Schools. And that's all we have for you today, JMB. Have a great day, JMB.